How'd it go, man? Did I? It went. <laughs> um, I think I think I played how I usually do, and uh, I had a lot of fun. So. I told you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> and it's on the camera. Yeah. Yes, that's all part of it. Um, you know, the basic definition of music is that it's a language, right? It's, uh, you know, it has sentences, it has movement, it has breathing, it has all the things that we use in our own uh, speaking languages to communicate, um, except that it communicates the things that our normal languages can't. Um, and if there's one thing that I'm quite certain about the human condition is that we have this need to express ourselves and we have this need to hear the expression of others. And uh, somewhere in there is the fundamental reason for art and music, I think. Okay, rolling. I'm Jeff Bradetich, and uh, founder, I guess, of the Bradetich Foundation. It's uh, an outgrowth, I think, of my uh, 30 years in the uh, profession, double bass, performing, teaching, uh, exploring. And uh, we founded the foundation about two years ago with the hope of doing two things. One is to help identify the very top young players in the world and help develop their careers through competition, CD recordings, New York debuts, uh, performances around the world. And then on the other hand, the more grassroots level of education that uh, we're hoping to bring more outreach of bass players into schools and into communities where the bass hasn't necessarily been heard before to help share the, the wonderful sounds, the soulful depth, and uh, the virtuosic and humorous fun that we can have as a solo instrument on the double bass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think music is a way that people can express themselves, and it's a way that I think some people don't know that they have, um, so when you can help someone discover that they have a voice in music, um, it can be pretty rewarding. Uh, we had 37 applicants from 20 countries. We accepted 20 of them to the first round and had two grueling days of uh, recitals. My, my name is Daxian Zhang and uh, I, I'm a bass professor at the uh, University of Texas in Austin. And uh, I was uh, uh, invited by Jeff Bredetich to be a judge for this competition. What are you, I mean, is there something specific that you're looking for? I mean, it seems like that everyone you're going to be judging is going to be playing on such a high level, what, what will separate them? I mean, is it, are, are you looking for little mistakes here and there, or is it, you know? Well, is no, uh, I think uh, we're looking for uh, who can communicate, communicate with the audience the best, who are a good musician, not, not just a, a good bass player. So who are able to take the bass to a level that some of the violin and cellist do. So. When people ask you, what's your major? I say double bass. People always think, oh, jazz, yeah. right? Or rock and roll. I say, no, classic. Oh, play orchestra. I say, no, <laughs> I'm a soloist. <laughs> This competition is, is really important because you know there's going to be someone you know who's going to be learning all this 
on an extremely, you know, international level. But very seriously, they're going to be representing this instrument in a whole new way. Today performance was not not only just performance for me, for my person. Actually, today uh, I played a concert for my father because 40 days ago he's gone, he died. Uh, today is 40 days, and the Russian tradition, Orthodox tradition, uh, his soul in 40 days go up. And before I enter the stage, I think, it, Father, I play for you. Well, we're expecting from the winner to become an ambassador for the base, in fact, all the winners. And uh, we had uh, something very unique in the competition was an interview round where the contestants who made the second round semifinals all came and spoke to the board about their goals in, uh, as a performer, as a musician, as a bass player, and what they want to see happen for the instrument. It's, it's not just about the player or the winner. It's about the larger issue of bringing our instrument to a higher level of uh, opportunity and respect. And uh, so we expect that person to be able to really help sell the double bass. what composer wanted to say to people. It's like, like this kind of thing. It, it, we have music, we read the music, we have to know what they wanted to say, what composer wanted to say to people. If when I play the concert, if, oh, I'm nervous, I think I'm nervous, maybe next part is really hard for us or something like this kind of thinking, and then I lost the connection with the composer and me, between, between composer and me, do you understand? And some like, you know, some water come to my eyes, uh, so how can I do? If I think, think I'm like that, you know, I lost everything. If we're good enough, we feel, and we feel that the level of bass playing and teaching has gotten to that level now that we can put on a concert on a stage and the audience should be able to enjoy it and come away with wonderful feelings and experiences, no different than any other instrument, not just violin, piano, and cello, but any other instrument. Uh, in order for that to happen, uh, you sometimes have to push the, the status quo a little bit. Most orchestras, sure, they'll hire a violinist or a cellist or pianist or singer to solo with the orchestra, but anything, uh, anything other than that, oh yeah, we did it once about 20 years ago. Uh, this, Sorry, there's too much on, from our end that we have to share that uh, we want that opportunity. I look back on my training when I was uh, young. I wanted to go to the, the most prestigious competition in New York, which really helps put young artists on the map. And New York concerts and recordings and, and uh, concerts around the world, exactly what we're trying to do. And they wrote back and said, oh, gee, we're sorry. We don't accept the double bass. And I wrote back and I said, gee, I'm sorry but I sure hope that you will because the bass is getting to the point now that we can, can stand on our own on the, on the concert hall stage. Well, this was in the early 80s, and sure enough, about a decade later, they changed the rules and started to allow the double bass to go. And some eight to 10 years later, a double bass player won, and that bass player is now one of our jurors here at the competition, Da Xun Zhang. And I think that brings it full circle. What we were trying to do 30 years ago is now available to us. Uh, and we obviously want to make it even more available to bass players. The, the 
bass is not a solo instrument. Like, you know, it's, it wasn't designed originally for it. And it's wonderful that, you know, people can do all these things, but you can't help the crowd that's just gonna be like, oh, this is like, you know, seeing a dog walk on its two hind legs, you know, it's a circus act, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's interesting to see all the fusion and all the composition and all the vigor behind this instrument. And I think it's, it's good enough to really take this instrument to like a new level. The bass is just in the orchestra. Um, and people don't think about it as a solo instrument. And you, you'd be amazed by how many you know, different sounds and textures the bass has. And it really sounds decent, like music. <laughs> <laughs> Four people represent, uh, one is from Korea, one is from China, one is from Russia, and one is from the United States. And they represent many different styles of playing and the very uh, finest young artists in the world. So what are your thoughts? What's, what's next? Uh, sleep or practice? Practice. 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 Absolutely. I already slept today, so... Let's just say that you, you win the whole mm -hmm. competition. You win everything. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that? How will it affect your life? Maybe now and later. Maybe for if I won a lot of competition, maybe it's good for my life. This is my goal. If if I get some chance to play such nice music for the people, to show what bass is actually, what what is bass sound, what is bass music, how it's how it's beautiful. If I win the whole thing? If you win the whole thing, uh -huh. how, how will it, um, what will that do for your life, do you think? That's going to change my life. How? Because uh, we have a lot of chance to play, to show the people. I can play concert or recital in different country around the world. Then I can tell different people what is double bass. Exactly double bass, yeah. Because they always think the double bass is just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. It's boring. <laughs> well, um, there's a bit of money involved, so I'm going to try to pay off some of my debts. <laughs> um, there's also a CD opportunity involved, and I'm going to, you know, try to find, you know, some interesting rep. Um, but there's also, you know recitals involved and, and master classes involved and travel opportunities. I mean, I, I want to know what that's all about and I want to be able to, you know, incorporate that into my playing and, and share as much as I can and take as much as I can. My request to the judges before they started the whole competition was that we are looking for artists, people who are ready to go out and capable of being very expressive players. Maybe they aren't the very best technical whiz on the instrument, but that isn't what really carries long term. It's a little bit like having fruit and putting tons of sugar on it. Okay, After a while you get tired of the tons of sugar, you'd rather taste the fruit. That's what we're looking for here. We want to hear what's inside, what the artist has to say and has to bring. Now. Like anything else, every judge has a different perspective, and uh, bringing that together is always a, a bit of a, of a challenge. And I, so I think that's why they took their time to deliberate and discuss, as well as as vote and then revote, to really find uh, the ones that stood out. And I think they've made very good decisions.
It's so long, waiting time. It's so long, why? <laughs> I have to play. It's already over the seven thirty. <laughs> So you want, what do you want? The, the concert concert. master's been asking for it. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Should I shake his hand as I'm coming out of there? You may certainly, yeah, you go first, I'll follow you. Okay. You can shake his hand, you bow, then I'll climb up on the thing and then you can ask for the air. On the real Okay. You're going to rock, Rex.
Auditory then. It's really answer me on my plane. Yeah. I give, they come back. Great. Have a good one. I've played the bass for 43 years and fell in love with it when I was quite young. I would practice three, four hours a day. I did that for about 10 years straight. And, and as you get older, you begin to look back on that and you go, well, why did I do that? What, what, what was driving me? Uh, there's all sorts of issues. One is when you can accomplish something, it brings a sense of fulfillment to yourself. And setting goals and working towards that is a real personal accomplishment as well and that's where a lot of it starts I think for most young people it's more about themselves than than anything else as we grow and mature we begin to realize oh there's other people out there and when I play they cry or when I play they laugh or when I play they they go away feeling great Thank you. 
how does it feel? I'm disappointed about it. <laughs> really, I forget all words in English. <laughs> I forget everything. <laughs> but, uh, I cannot say that I'm really happy now. It's like something more. The last day, uh, I think only about him, only about him, about my dad. And I think something, they have something, really. Today's round, I did. It's like somebody really helped me because I don't, don't care about anything. I just don't, don't worry about it. I just be on a stage like I perform. It's really competition for his name. We really enjoyed not only be on a stage, but we really enjoy to be in this life. This week, we will, everyone for us, will remember really full life, I think.